Standard Sixth Subject Maths Chapter Thirteen Profit Loss Practice Set Thirty Two In this particular practice set, you are going to learn about total cost price and profit or loss. Let's have a look at an example. At Diwali, in a certain school, they undertook a design a dia project. They bought thousand dias for rupees thousand and some paint for rupees two hundred. To bring the dias to the school, they spent rupees hundred on transport. They sold the painted lamps at rupees two each. Did they make a profit or incur a loss? Now, they bought thousand dias for rupees thousand means a cost price is thousand rupees, and they sold for two rupees each means thousand dias into two rupees is two thousand rupees. So, with this, we come to know, as per the practice set thirty one which we solved. That it is a profit since the selling price is more. But then, what about the amount given for paint and transport? Where are they to be included? That is what is a total cost price. So now we are going to learn about total cost price. Total cost price means the amount that is given, that is the purchased um a price. That uh, they bought thousand dias for rupees thousand, that is the cost price, plus the paint that was used, for, that is rupees two hundred, plus rupees hundred which was spent on transport, together will make a total cost price, and then based on this we are going to find a profit or loss. So, is Anju right? What about the money? Spent on paints and transport. How much money was actually spent before the dias could be sold? So all these questions we have just answered. Anju thought that thousand rupees was the profit since the dias were sold for two thousand. But that's not the real case. She has not added the other amounts that were spent. So Anju is wrong. Cost price of dias also includes the painting and transportation cost. Therefore, total cost price of dias is equal to cost of dias plus cost of paint plus transportation cost is equal to thousand plus two hundred plus hundred is equal to rupees thirteen hundred. So one thousand three hundred is the total cost price here, and accordingly we can now find the profit two thousand, which is selling price. Minus cost price one thousand three hundred seven hundred will be her profit. So this way, total cost price has to be found out first in those sums where there is additional cost on the product that has been made. So let's solve practice set thirty two based on this concept in trading. All expenses incurred on an article before it can be sold have to be added to the cost price of the article. That is called the total cost price of the article. Practice set thirty two. Question number one. From a wholesaler, Santosh bought four hundred eggs for rupees fifteen hundred, and spent rupees three hundred on transport. Fifty eggs fell down and broke. He sold the rest at rupees five each. Did he make a profit or a loss? How much? So it's a very simple sum. We will do it step by step. First thing, cost price of four hundred eggs is given as rupees fifteen hundred. What else cost is given? Transportation cost rupees three hundred. So total cost price of four hundred eggs will be cost price of the eggs plus transportation cost. Which is fifteen hundred plus three hundred. We have to add this to cost is equal to rupees eighteen hundred. Is a total cost price now. Total cost price, okay, is rupees eighteen hundred. Fifty eggs fell and broke. Out of four hundred eggs, fifty eggs fell and broke. So remaining eggs is equal to four hundred minus fifty is equal to three fifty. Three fifty eggs are left with us now. And this three fifty he sold at the cost of rupees five each. So selling price of one egg is equal to rupees five. 
therefore selling price of 350x is equal to 5 into 350 is equal to rupees 1750 this is a selling price now you can see that the cost price is greater than the selling price you saw that the cost price was how much we got it here 1800 cost price is greater than the selling price so since the cost price is greater than the selling price santosh suffered a loss loss formula loss is equal to total cost price minus selling price don't take only the cost price we have to take the total cost price now so 1800 minus 1750 is equal to rupees 50 santosh incurred a loss of rupees 50 so in this sum we have first found out the total cost price then we subtracted from 400x 50 which fell and broke so 350x we multiplied by 5 to find the total selling price once we got the total selling price we subtracted it from the total cost price and we got how much loss santosh suffered next question number 2 abraham bought goods worth rupees 50000 and spent rupees 7000 on transport and octroi so that means his cost price will be 50000 plus 7000 which will be 57000 next part of the sum if he sold the goods for rupees 65000 this is a selling price did he make a profit or a loss selling price is more than the cost price total cost price so he made a profit and how much that we will find by solving the sum so cost price of goods is equal to rupees 50000 transportation cost and octro is equal to rupees 7000 therefore total cost price for buying goods is equal to added cost price for for goods plus transportation cost and octro which is equal to substitute the values 50000 plus 7000 is equal to rupees 57000 in this part of the sum we have only found out the total cost price by adding the cost price of goods and transportation cost next part of the sum we have to write the selling price now selling price of goods is equal to rupees 65000 selling price is greater than the total cost price therefore we can see abraham made a profit now we have to write the formula profit is equal to selling price minus cost price the total cost price so 65000 minus 57000 is 8000 so now you can say that abraham made a profit of rupees 8000 so what we did in this sum we found out total cost price and then we subtracted the selling price minus cost price so we got a profit question number 3 Ajit Kaur bought a fifty kg sack of sugar for rupees one thousand seven hundred and fifty, but as sugar prices fell, she had to sell it at rupees thirty two per kg. How much loss did she incur? Now fifty kg sugar is bought for rupees one seven five zero. This is a cost price, and it was sold for rupees thirty two per kg. So one kg thirty two rupees fifty kg will be fifty into thirty two, and then whichever is greater from that amount will come to know whether it is a profit or loss. But it is already given it is a loss, so we will use the formula for loss. Let's look at the solution. Cost price of fifty kg sugar is given rupees one thousand seven fifty. Selling price of one kg sugar is rupees thirty two. Therefore, selling price of fifty kg sugar will be fifty into thirty two is equal to rupees one thousand six hundred. You can see selling price is less than cost price, so cost price is greater. Hence, it is a loss. Write the formula for loss. Loss is equal to total cost price minus selling price. We use the word total cost price here. So seventeen fifty minus sixteen hundred is equal to one fifty. Ajit Kaur incurred a loss of rupees one fifty. So what we did here? Cost price is given as it is. Selling price is given for one kg. So we multiplied thirty two, which is cost of one kg by fifty, since fifty kg sugar is bought all together, and sold. So this way we got to know the loss, which is rupees one fifty. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर कुसुमताई बॉट एट्टी कुकर्स एट रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड ईच मीन्स वेन यू मल्टीप्लाई एट्टी विथ सेवन हंड्रेड यू विल कम टू नो द कॉस्ट प्राइज फॉर एट्टी कुकर्स एट्टी कुकर्स एट रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड ईच वेन द ईच वर्ड इज देर यू हैव टू फाइंड द टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइज बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय द नंबर ऑफ कुकर्स देन द ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉस्ट रुपीज हर रुपीज वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी आफ्टर यू मल्टीप्लाई एट्टी बाय सेवन हंड्रेड यू हैव टू एड वन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी टू फाइंड द टोटल कॉस्ट प्राइज बिकॉज इट इज ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सम इफ शी वॉन्ट्स अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज एटीन थाउजेंड वॉट वुड बी द सेलिंग प्राइज पर कुक सो यर प्रॉफिट इज गिवेन वी हैव टू फाइंड सेलिंग प्राइज दिस विल बी द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सम वेर विल यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर प्रॉफिट एंड फाइंड द सेलिंग प्राइज so let's start with the first part of the sum cost price of one cooker is equal to rupees 700 700 each means cost price of one cooker therefore cost price of 80 cookers is equal to 700 into 80 which gives us rupees 56000 now we have to add the transportation cost transportation cost is rupees 1280 so Total cost price is equal to cost price of eighty cookers plus transportation cost. Substitute the values. Fifty six thousand plus twelve eighty gives us rupees fifty seven thousand two eighty as the total cost price. Now, the next part of the sum is profit is given to us as eighteen thousand. Write the formula for profit. Profit is equal to selling price minus total cost price. therefore the selling price will be if you shift cost price to the other side it will be added it is subtracted here when you shift to the other side it gets added to profit therefore required selling price is equal to total cost price plus profit is equal to 57280 plus 18000 is equal to rupees 75280 is a selling price so a uh, selling price of 80 cookers is equal to rupees 75280 now we have to find out the selling price of one cooker okay because the question is what should be the selling price per cooker we have found out selling price for 80 cookers therefore selling price of one cooker will be the total price of 80 cookers divided by 80 Is equal to rupees nine forty one. Therefore, the selling price per cooker should be rupees nine hundred and forty one. This is the last part of the sum. Question number five. Indrajit bought ten refrigerators at rupees twelve thousand each and spent rupees five thousand on transport. For how much should he sell each refrigerator? in order to make a profit of rupees 20000 so now let's find out first the cost price so cost price of one refrigerator is given as rupees 12000 12000 each so now we'll find for 10 refrigerators so cost price of 10 refrigerators is equal to 10 into 12000 which is 120000 Transportation cost is equal to rupees five thousand. So let's add total cost price of ten refrigerators is equal to cost price of ten refrigerators plus transportation cost. One lakh twenty thousand plus five thousand gives us one lakh twenty five thousand as our total cost price. Profit is given as equal to rupees twenty thousand. So, for how much should he sell each refrigerator in order to make a profit of rupees twenty thousand? So, profit is equal to write down the formula selling price minus total cost price. Therefore, the required selling price is equal to total cost price plus profit. If you shift total cost price here, it will become plus. So, total cost price plus profit. One lakh twenty five thousand plus twenty thousand gives us one lakh forty five thousand. Therefore, selling price of ten refrigerators we got as rupees one lakh forty five thousand. The question is asking us what would be the selling price per cooker. So we will have to divide one lakh forty five thousand by ten. 
So, therefore, selling price of one refrigerator is equal to one lakh forty five thousand divided by ten is equal to rupees fourteen thousand five hundred. Therefore, Indrajit must sell each refrigerator at rupees fourteen thousand five hundred to make a profit of rupees twenty thousand. So, if we have to find out selling price and we know it is a profit. Then use the profit formula and substitute the values of profit and total cost price. You will get the selling price. And when you divide it by the uh, total number, you will get the cost for one refrigerator. Question number six. Lalita Bai sowed seeds worth rupees thirteen thousand seven hundred in her field. She had to spend rupees five thousand three hundred on fertilizers. And spraying pesticides and rupees seven thousand one hundred and sixty on labor. If on selling her produce she earned rupees thirty five thousand four hundred, what was her profit or her loss? So here to find the total cost, we will have to add the cost of seeds plus the fertilizers and plus the amount spent on labor, and then. We will come to know whether it is a profit or a loss looking at the total cost price and the selling price. So let's have a look at the solution. Cost price of seeds is equal to rupees thirteen thousand seven hundred. Cost of fertilizers and pesticides is equal to rupees five thousand three hundred, and labor cost is equal to rupees seven thousand one hundred and sixty. We will add them all. So total cost price is equal to Cost price of seeds plus cost of fertilizers and pesticides plus labor cost. When you add all this, you get rupees twenty six thousand one hundred and sixty as your total cost price. Thirteen thousand seven hundred plus five thousand three hundred plus seven thousand one sixty gives us rupees twenty six thousand one hundred and sixty as the total cost price. Now we also have our selling price. Selling price is equal to rupees thirty five thousand four hundred, which is given in the question directly. Now, if we compare, we come to know selling price is greater than the total cost price. Therefore, we can say Lalita Bai made a profit. And how much profit? Write the formula for profit. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Is equal to thirty five thousand four hundred minus twenty six thousand one hundred and sixty. Is equal to rupees nine thousand two hundred and forty. Therefore, Lalita Bai made a profit of rupees nine thousand two hundred and forty. So, students, we have completed six questions of practice set thirty two. Do write down the formula in your notebook well, and practice the sums in your notebook. Stay safe, keep learning, and thank you.